Alrighty, let us play the game. And uh, before, before I move on here, there's one thing I want to do. Need the girl here to do it. Gotta talk to Thoth. When is Daddy going to come home? I want to hear about his hunting trip. Okay, Thoth. Dream. Today is dedicated to man. Him here. Uh, got 24 of those. 15 of those should be good. Should be good, right? We're gonna buy some more. Fight us a boss in Thoth's name. <laughs> oh man, for Thoth! Whoa, look! Guess this must be the source of that awful smell. The water outside is so clean, too. What is the purpose of this area, Frida? source of all the primeval land's water. Source of all primeval land's water, but it's filthy. About to begin. What is? Are those... Ah, it's a... Wait. Wait, hold on. Are those Spartas? That's right. The sacred beast Adil sent to this land, and you're about to witness what makes them so sacred. Amazing. I've never heard them cry like this before. Like they're singing. That red liquid. Whoa, it's the very poison we encountered in Celray. But why? No one is threatening them. Oh my. Water, it's turning clear. What's going on? Belsetta was once thought to be a barren place where nothing could grow. It was then that Lord Adil sent the Spartas, who transformed this wasteland into a lush forest, overflowing with life. Even now, they're responsible for purifying the waters of the great forest. Purifying it? That red liquid is not poison? Poison? I'm afraid I don't know exactly how the process works. But what I do know is the water they pur purify if Purify eventually flows into the river, which carries it to every part of the land. The Spartas are effectively the guardians of all life in Celceta. Yes. What is the purpose of all the clean water? Why would you need that? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> well, what's up, Dante? The kingdom of Celceta could not have come into existence were it not for the Spartas. I doubt anyone who looked at this land for the first time could possibly imagine it was once an infertile wasteland. Did you not call me here today as you wished to discuss something? You have worry written all over your face. I can't keep anything from you, can I? You're far too easy to read, my friend. I could do so in my sleep. My worry is related to the Spartas. Their purifying abilities are far too potent and act as a deadly poison in the natural world. It is for this reason that I forbade anyone to remove Spartas from their natural habitat. But several days ago, some of the villagers from Selray broke that law and took a group of Spartas to the river. Oh my, what could they possibly have done that for? They intend to use them in conflict between the villages. There. And they use them in conflict? 
that how? How you can use that? That gasp. Oh, a roar. Regrettably, by the time I'd learned this, the poison had already been released and a village at the basin was destroyed. How tragic. Why must, be, why must we humans keep repeating the same mistakes? Why must we abuse that which we are given in good faith? What have the people of Selray said regarding the matter? Seems this incident was a result of a small group of villagers acting independently. The village chief is currently working to take control of the situation. However, it appears Selray too suffered damage. I received a pledge from the village chief expressing his regrets for what happened and swearing never to allow it to reoccur. I see, then, my dear friend. My answer to you now is the same as my answer when I resolved to cross the ocean. Let us watch over them. Yes, I think that's best. So the Spartas from Selray originally came from here, huh? Adol, Durin, I think I finally understand. Huh? I think I finally understand what my tribe, what my mother and father sought to protect, and the purpose behind the laws they defended. The ones about raising them? Our laws forbid us from telling others about the nature of the Spartas or the methods used to rear them, because if others should discover these methods, the tragedy we just witnessed may very well occur again. Makes sense. Explains what King Lafont said too about the Selray chief's pledge. Guess that's what. I guess that's why they stopped mentioning the poison to anyone. It appears so. My ancestors sought to avoid repeating the past by keeping the Spartas close and stressing their sanctity as sacred beasts. I believe that is the true purpose behind the laws of my tribe. However, something else bothering you? There is. The sight we see before us. These Spartas are living in complete harmony with nature. This is the Spartas' natural habitat. The way they are meant to live. Why do you care? goddess. So you found out what these big dumb animals are really like. Big deal. Your people ain't gonna do a thing different, and you know it. I'm gonna go back home and go right back to snapping their tusks off and making them do all your dirty work. The only thing keeping people and beasts together is fear. Man ain't gonna live side by side with them unless he ain't, or takes charge. No. Uh, beasts have their own sense of dignity, just as people do. There is no reason we cannot search for a means of coexistence that allows both parties to preserve that dignity. The laws of Selray were indeed written with human convenience in mind, but I am in a position to change those laws. Osma, wow. Well, now you've done it. You made me mad enough that I'm seeing red. People like you make me sick. So now I'm gonna smash your darn heads in. That's one of Gruda's masks. <laughs> My orders are to finish off the rats running around Salsetta and get every er, and getting in everybody's way. I love squashing me some rats. Goddess, the sadistic beast tamer. Whoa! Just like when we fought Bami. <laughs> I'm gonna splatter you lot across the lake. 43. I actually did respectable damage. I'm allowed to run away from that. Playing big damage. Ah, oh, that did 300 damage. I 
don't know what's going on. But I'm dying. Goodbye, sir. Nice knowing you. Also, goodbye. You won. As if there was any doubt. Looks like his body couldn't handle the mask's side effects after all. I guess congratulations are in order, Ozma. You accomplished what you set out to do. No. I am not done yet. Now that I know Gruta and his allies possess, su possess such extraordinary power, I feel I must aid in stopping him. I want to continue fighting by your side, Adol. Only when this matter is fully settled will I be com comfortable returning to Selray. Thanks. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. I could not have come this far alone. You have my deepest gratitude, Adol Christian. All right. Well, glad to have you with us. It's been a pleasure fighting by your side. I would agree. But yeah, Adel. Doesn't that altar-like thing over there look familiar? It's been bugging me since we got here. Looks like the one we saw on Mount Vesuvio. Let's take a closer look. Go take a look at the treasure chest that's on it. No. It has a treasure chest on it. This is just like the fragment we found at Mount Vesuvio. It means we now have both halves of the Mask of the Moon. It does seem like we have the whole thing now. <laughs> Tell me, Kalilika. We have one half, and then we have the other half. How is there any doubt that we have the whole thing right now? Oh, wait. Hold the two halves together and they fit perfectly. Yeah, she even says it herself. But how are we supposed to reattach them and get its power back? Mask of the Moon for certain? Or is this Mask of the Moon for certain? If it is, how would we even know? Maybe we should go ask the Grand Rue in the Rota Tree. Sounds like a plan to me. They do seem more likely to know the answers than anyone else. Let us go then. Time is of the essence. I got mask in hand achievement. Pew pew. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Not today. Ah. Aru back there asleep and have some respect, man. Remnos, you're okay. You've regained con regained consciousness. You're a hit with the little ruse, it seems. Hey. Erna, Ado. <laughs> I'm in your debt. Mm, you better worry about it, so how you feeling? I'm not completely back to my old self, but I'm getting there. Aww. Don't worry me like don't worry me like that again, okay? Erna, I'm sorry. I really overdid it this time. I stepped outside my comfort zone and look where it got me. I believe I really am better suited to be playing the harp and making crafts after all. Really, I'm not so sure about that. And I hate to admit it, but you were pretty impressive as a warrior. I'm sure Father and everyone else in the Komodo would have been shocked if they'd seen you like that. You really think so? Incidentally, what happened to Leo? As soon as I woke, he ran off. Said he had a mission to take care of. He's done a lot for me, too. I need to thank him next time I see him. Well, Karna, I guess this means your journey's at an end, huh? Well, 
I accomplished my goal, yes. But it's not like Remnos and I can just go back to Komodo as if everything's fine now. That's right. If we don't stop Gruda, the whole of the continent will be in grave danger. That reminds me. There's something we were hoping to ask you, Remnos. Looks like you managed to recover both halves of the Mask of the Moon, then. Yeah, but they lost their power, just like you said. We're kind of at a loss now on what to do with them. How do you know they lost their power? Like, did you try putting the mask on or something? Can you feel the magical energies from the mask? Grand Rue said that he and the Rotor Tree could sense the mask in two places. But I have to admit, this wasn't quite what I was expecting. Well, there may yet be some recourse. I've been researching a few things since my arrival on Elduk. It seems there's an old lab uh, laboratory around here that was once used for researching and repairing artifacts. Artifacts? In other words, magic items. We've got quite a few of them in the at this point, like the dwarf bracelet and the water dragon scale. A mace is an artifact too. So assuming the mask of the moon is an artifact as well, it may be possible to restore it at that facility. That was my thought, yes. The only problem is, I don't know where the facility is located. I suppose the fastest way to find out would be to ask the Rotor Tree and Grand Rue. Have you spoken with them? Fortunately, they keep asking me to play my harp for them, constantly, practically every hour of every day. Oh man. I'm remembering a intro or something to a TV show, and I think it's Person of Interest. Uh, you are being watched. Government has built a secret system, machine, that spies on you every hour of every day. I know this because I built it. That's a great show, by the way. I barely had a moment's rest. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Well, if they already know about you, that's at least a little less we need to explain. What do you say we go have a chat with the Rotor Tree, Adel? Right. Now I'm gonna say... Hey, Gramps, wake up. Well, if it isn't the Harpist, and the rest of you have returned as well. Sensing you also brought the Mask of the Moon with you, no? We have, and that's actually what we've come to discuss. Ado recounted recent events to the Grand Rue. Artifact Laboratory, you say? There is indeed one nearby. However, the battle between Lord Adil and King Lafance was particularly fierce in that area. There's no way to know if the facility is still functional. Man, I was afraid you were going to say something like that. Looks like we need to come up with another plan. No, no, I think this is an idea well worth exploring. You may be able to find something worthwhile there, if nothing else. And there's an interesting visitor there at this moment. Or so says the Rota Tree. An interesting visitor? Oh, could it be Lisa? Come to think of it, I wonder if Nina was able to find her successfully. The laboratory is north of Colonia Battlefield. It should depart immediately. Seems the Rotor Tree has a gift for you. A gift? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Artifact Sword Emerald or Emerald. Thank you. Oh, aren't you a well mannered young man? During the final years of the Kingdom of Salceta, a variety of experiments were conducted. Among them were experiments that produced living weapons which cannot be defeated through conventional means. And many of those living weapons still lurk in the laboratory you're about to enter. So you're saying our weapons won't hurt them? Actually, didn't we run into one of those when we were out on the battlefield? Yes! Good call, Durin! Because I was about to say something like that. Are you referring to the monster that was guarding that door? If that's the case, how do we defend ourselves? The sword Edo was given is an artifact that allows you to deal the finishing blow to the living weapons. So without that, we would be unable to enter the laboratory. Think of it as a reward for driving away the evil that slithered its way into Elduk. Is what the Rotor Tree says. Well then, I guess I'd better start getting ready. Where do you think you're going? You're not done recovering yet. But I was hoping to see the laboratory for myself. I may be useful to have along too. Might notice something you would otherwise overlook. Not happening. You're going to stay here and rest. That's that. Do as your older sister tells you, just this once, okay? Bye. Take care, young ones. 
Incidentally, my back is unbearably itchy at the moment, and I would very much appreciate it if someone could scratch it for me. That's the rotor tree. <laughs> well, Edo, looks like it's back to the ancient battlefield for us. Come on. Hooray. Thanks for this DK really sucks. I miss you. I still need to get back to playing that. You seem unusually supportive of them, Rhoda. Suppose you're right, they seem much like him when he was young. But even the presence of his direct descendant won't make repairing the mask any easier a task. About this interesting visitor you mentioned. Direct descendant of... Ooh. Oh, so is this a weapon that I can actually use? Not, so it must be an actual artifact? It is not. Alright. I don't know what's going on here. Alright, so it's just a key item. That's all it is. Um. Saw something. Apparently, there's a treasure chest in there. Did I miss? But you know what? I think there is a treasure chest in there. That I... Right at the beginning. I feel when tank tops DPS. I know that feeling, Dante. I saw you uh, top DPS many a times. But then, but then I started getting better. And then. And then you didn't top DPS all the time. It was great. Just a road away. I'm probably like super far behind you. Well, if it isn't Adol, why is this person in a place like this? Let's just say he's no ordinary guy. Did you come here to explore the ruined Gazak? Yeah, my shoulders have started to stiffen up a little though. But I was wondering if there was anywhere in this area I could lie down for a spell. Actually, I think we know just the place. Really great, where is it? Parting from Gazank of the Ruse Nest and explained to him how to find it. Nest full of sacred beasts, huh? Sounds perfect. Heading there right now? No, I think I'll rest here for a short while first. So if there's anything you need, I'd be happy to provide my super handyman's services. Be the word. Pardon me for asking, but how do you intend to do crafting without the appropriate facilities? What do you think this bag I've got is for? I can do my work anywhere. I'm Gazank the Strong, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Better what he has for purchase first. Why is that 195? Windblade is 201. Force some armor here, shall we? Can't tell who that's equipped on though. I have two rune cloaks. There's a an icon behind the golden thing there. And I believe that's a bug. 
Because I think it's supposed to let us know, hey, this is equipped on somebody. Because down here, uh, m maybe the circle is to denote that it's equipped on somebody. Because down here, it shows, you know, like the numbers and stuff. Interesting. I noticed that before. Um, let me see. What would I really want? Heal seems like super bad. Evasion. I don't know what evasion does. Was that given to? That was good too. Okay. Let's bust a sucker up. Well, this is the place where we fought that monster that just wouldn't die. It appears we have arrived at just the right time. I don't think this is gonna go like it did last time. The only thing that can really damage that, or damage it, is the artifact sword you got, Adol. Our best bet is to knock it out for a while, search for a weak point, and then give it everything we've got. Finishing blow uses the power of the artifact sword Emerald to defeat the weapons. found the right place. This has uh, this has to be the artifact laboratory. Laboratory. Seems likely we will encounter many more living weapons inside. We'll just have to leave those to Adel. Frida? Frida. Nina. Noisy little shrimp's back. Can't say I missed her. What was that, Durin? Say it again. I dare you. If you're here, Nina, does that mean Lisa? Well, I saw something huge flying this way and hurried after it. Oh, was it Sol? I couldn't tell for sure. But this is the only place I haven't checked, so if she's not here, no. We're gonna have to explore this place either way. So if Lisa's here, that saves us the trouble of looking for her later. Come on, let's go inside. Tread lightly, everyone. Stay out of the shadows. Hey, boy. I guess that's gonna kind of get annoying. Oh! Oh! I have to... Oh man, I almost forgot this. I went back into my... Uh, the old VODs. Okay, because I was like, man, why can't I... Or... For whatever reason, I complained a couple of times about... They're not being like a little like mini map or something like that. And for the life of me, I was like, man, I totally remember there being this little map that's not the mini map that I could get, you know, to look around. I found it. I found it. It's the select button. So proud of myself. I had to go back to the earlier VODs. But I knew I remembered something. But I've done it. Victory is mine.
Oh, there we go. Useful. Yeah, we can go this way first. Hey, though, wasn't that? That was a girl scream for sure. Seem to be coming from above us. Quickly, let's go. This is clearly the wrong way then. By the wrong way, I mean the right way. Excellent, I was right. Wrong in that I should have came back because it was just a complete dead end and a complete waste of time. But it's fine. Kalilika, what happened? Right, I don't quite know myself. Came to the outskirts to research my ancestors when suddenly Sol just stopped responding to my commands. He took off, brought me here, and then threw me off his back. No threw you off? Why would he do that? I'm afraid I don't know. This has never happened before. Sol, what do you think you're doing? What if Lisa had been hurt? Answer me. Come on. And even talk? Where am I? Well, that answers that, I guess. <laughs> what? What's that? Why am I here? Oh, can speak? Well, that's impossible. Oh, wait, wait! He has flown away. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Looks like he's headed to the other side of the facility. How can you tell? Are you okay, Lisa? Yes, I'm alright. But I have no idea what's going on. This is all so confusing. Well, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer, but Sol's never spoken before now, has he? No, this is the first time he's ever said a word. Going after him, I have to. Go after him? What should we do, Adel? Let her go. I don't think that's a very good idea. We're already we're already aware of enemies here that can't be hurt with conventional weapons. Lisa, Lisa shouldn't wander around alone. He's right, Adel. We have to go with her. He's, I'm sorry, but you're coming with us. Uh... Uh, we have our own reasons to explore this location, so it, so it seems only logical that we work together in this. Besides which, we'd be uh, happy to have you with us. Don't fight it, Lisa. Like it or not, you're coming with us. Alright, when you put it that way, how can I say no? Thank you, everyone. Are you a party member? Is not. Uh, where am I in... Let's go now. So is this the way that I need to go, or is this the way I came? Okay, I guess this is the new way. He's not even helping. What kind of suckle fool are you, man? I guess I'll go investigate that one thing. Point as well, I guess. Might lead to a treasure chest. Which I'd be eternally grateful.
did not lead to a treasure chest. Ah, oh, but it did. Ah, money. This is rare. Out of fruit. <laughs> Our elixir is nice to have. Might as well use those right now. final party. Not quite sure if Frida going to be sticking around or not, but Arna's the bomb diggity. You know, I didn't think about this before, but uh, it'd be really nice if there was just a prompt instead of having to quit different artifacts. Since there isn't, you know, like a keybind or anything. That's right, pick up the mouse. Why does she have a strength problem? She's not gonna have a real stinger. Um, well, Art Glass is about to level up to three. Yeah. Art Glass. Oh, it's leveling up to two? That's disappointing. Like mimic. <laughs> like elixir. Like you're still falling behind on HP. Sonic Wave is almost there. Blade Rush is getting there. Isn't Slag. Hail Stinger. Hmm. I don't really like Blade Rush. It costs too much. Blade Barrage? The Gail Stinger. Try that out. All my money. I never get the strength buff. Oh, my God. 
What is that? Somebody just got healed. Oh, she's healing herself when she's taking damage. What a sucker! Heal me! Uh, save. Let's go. Okay, as soon as I swap, let me just have you fight a bunch of living weapons. And it's Scarf. We got something that I don't care about, but I will check. The XP was walking. I'm going to classify that as something I don't care about. Just another hallway. Wrong button. So, uh, wrong combination of buttons. And treasure chest. Oh dear. We call those Marlboros. That's a dangerous looking dude. Moonblade plus nine. This is not going to be an upgrade. What does it have on it? Yeah. Oh no, I'm poisoned! Look at that five damage I'm taking. So much trouble. of that? I will not know. Let's go south. Let's see what the northern exit was. Hopefully it's a treasure chest.
Isla appears to have become separated from the party. She may be in danger. What kind of bull crap is that? That's uh, something new. Sunstone. Nice, 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 nice. What are those used for? I have no idea. Nice, all the same. Wait for Lisa to show up. Just so helpless without us. change my keybinds, I would make it so that the button that did all these like special skills was not the same button as my super ultra mega hyper ability that takes a long time to, to charge up. Upgraded uh, weapons or uh, items or armor for everybody too. And everybody's ready for the final battle. Whenever that's gonna show up. I need the money. The curse, Captain. I don't know what curse does. Not use skills, I can use skills. Guess we just won't care. Those enemies right there will die sooner.
don't remember where that spot was at, but yeah. supposed to be in these little chambers and that kind of looks like one of the the Zava familiars a little concerning what a great place to mark 